Hello everybody and welcome to my A lesson. I'm your guru and in this video I'll tell you how to create a table of content in MS Word in just two or three clicks. It is super easy and super awesome. See, I I've taken an example over here. Uh, here are the, uh, I I've say given the chapters and the titles of my book. The name is my book and here's chapter one. Uh, the story and here's a sub sub uh, the sub uh, references to the chapter and then chapter two chapter three is this one the beginning of the end good gracious is about, it's about to end soon the end thank god <laughs> well i believe that is what would happen if i end up writing a book so now how do i create a table of content over here well it's very simple uh, to create a table of content all you need to do is Select a blank page or a space wherein you would like to create it. It's advisable to create the table of content at the starting of the document at the top. So that is what I've done. I've gone to the top of the document, selected a place, clicked my mouse over there. Now I'll click on references and I'll click on table of contents over here. It gives it me two options, uh, table one and table two. The only difference is their formatting and nothing else. And I choose table one. And this is manual table you can research upon it on your own once you learn how to make automatic tables all right so click here and there you go contents the story the characters the place the story so far you see this is chapter one chapter two and this is the sub reference then what lies ahead more blah blah <laughs> then the next chapter the beginning of the end good gracious it's about to end soon the end see how it is aligned accordingly how was I able to do it? Now that is very important. Now while if you want MS Word to create a table of content for you, you have to be sure that you are formatting your text correctly. Now to do that you have to ensure that whatever thing you sh uh, things you, you believe should be coming up as titles or major chapter numbers example, you have to have them in heading one so anything that comes uh, within the chapter like I, I i took this example this character the place i took it as heading three if there is something like you want to mention the name of the characters over here uh john jack jill okay so now these are obviously to be placed within this context within the characters context so i'll give it the heading three and you will see when, when I update the table of content, which I'll teach you now, this will, these will appear within this context. So you have to ensure that you're choosing heading 1, 2, 3 and 4 appropriately. All right. And that is how a table of content would be created automatically. Now I'm going to the top. Now I'll tell you how to update the table of content. There are two ways of doing it. Either you update the page numbers only, which again is a possibility. And either you update the entire table I'm choosing to update the entire table click on okay see the characters john jack and jill they are now showing under the title the subtitle the subheading characters which again is a part of the story see all i did was this is heading one this is heading two and the characters are the heading three so simple you can so we learned how to create a table of content, how to update it and how to delete it. Simply click over here and click on remove table of contents. So simple. Why don't you go ahead and pause the video and download the file from my website. Uh, the link is mentioned just in the video below and you can take it from there. And you can download the file for free and practice along. So until the next video, this is your guru now signing off for the day. Have a wonderful day ahead. Happy learning.